Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the Motorola Droid when it's on Android 2.1. Uh, if you're not right there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that at the address bar, and then search for our how to root the Motorola Droid procedure. Alright, before you begin, this is for Verizon Motorola Droids only. Not for the Milestone, which is the GSM equivalent of the Droid. Uh, for the Milestone, you can click on the link we have there to show you how to root that. Um, another thing, this will erase all of your data, and you possibly may need to reactivate your Droid in order to log into the phone. Uh, so sync with Google, like all your contacts and everything, before you get started. This way you don't have to lose any of those. Once you boot back up and you log back into Google, those will all come back. Okay, so long as you're okay with all that, we can continue. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to downgrade your phone from Android 2.1 to 2.0.1. If you are on 2.0.1, you want to do this as well anyway, though, just to get, make sure you're on a stock 2.0.1 and just to make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, first step, you need to download RSD Lite, the 2.0.1 SBF file, which is the recovery file um, from Motorola, uh, and the Motorola drivers. So click on those links there to download all of that. Once you've downloaded all that, we can go to the next step. Okay, once you download the files, you're going to install RSD Lite by double clicking on the installer app. Run. And then just follow the procedure to install the program. Okay, next you need to unzip the USB drivers uh, folder that you downloaded. I downloaded both, um, but you don't need to do that. You need to download the one for your computer. I happen to have a 64-bit, you might have a 32. Um, so since I have 64, I'm going to right click the 64-bit. I'm going to extract all. Hit extract. And you'll see the new folder appear. Double click that. And then I'm going to double click uh, and install the Motorola Consumer Driver Installation Package. Okay. Now, once you've installed the drivers, we are going to plug in the droid. And then we're going to turn it off while it's plugged in. Okay, and now once it's off, uh, we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and volume up on the D-pad. And then you're going to let go, and you should have uh, a screen that says bootloader at the top. Set the phone down and continue. Okay, we're going to find RSD Lite in our program files. We're going to right-click it. Uh, you're supposed to click uh, Run as Administrator. If that's not listed, click Troubleshoot Compatibility. I'm going to say it's detecting problems. Just say Troubleshoot the program. The program requires additional permissions. Next. So now it's going to automatically run as Administrator. Hit Start the program. And wait for it to pop up a warning. Click Allow Access. And then the program itself should open. Okay, once the program opens, uh, first off down here you'll see USB type connected. That means it sees your phone, which is good. Uh, file name, there'll be a, a blank text box here. We're going to click on the dots on the right of it. And we're going to look for that .sbf file that we downloaded earlier. Motorola Droid, there it is. And click open. And then you're going to click start right next to that to begin flashing the device and just wait for it to finish. Do not unplug the phone or mess with the computer in any way during this. Okay, once it's done, the phone should reboot and bring you to the Welcome to Droid screen. You're now on Android 2.0.1 stock uh, and we can now go to the next section. Okay, next step is we need to flash the rooted Android 2.1 ROM. Uh, so first thing you need to do is you need to download that by clicking on the link here and saving it somewhere to your computer. Okay, now we save it to our computer. We're going to plug in our Droid. We're going to pull down the notification bar and we're going to mount the USB storage <clears throat> so that our, mi our micro SD card shows up on our computer. And we're going to take the update.zip and we're going to put it on the uh, micro SD card, but not in any folders. We want it just on the SD card itself. So the path up here should be just removable disk. Don't put it inside any folders, just inside the micro SD itself, so this way you can see it. Update.zip, micro SD removal disk. 
Okay, next you're going to unplug the phone from the USB cable and turn it completely off. Then we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down X and then holding down power. And you're going to keep holding it. So you see the exclamation point. And you can close the phone. And now we're going to hold volume up and push camera and let go until we have this menu. Now we can open this back up. We're going to use the uh, D-pad to select. We're going to select apply SD card update.zip. Push the center ball to begin and wait for it to finish updating. Okay, once it's done, it'll say install from SD card complete. Uh, simply select reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the update's done, the phone's rebooted. You're on Android 2.1 with root access. Uh, if you want to load custom ROMs uh, and recovery images and, and all that fun stuff, you do need, do need to go to the next procedure. Um, so you'll see a link at the end of this procedure on how to get to the next procedure. Click that link and then follow those steps and you'll be able to flash custom ROMs as well. Enjoy!